up YouTube, we're back to another video. In this video, we're going over some filters for sniping, you know. So make sure you guys like and subscribe for more of this. Let's get on to the, right, the first filter right here. This filter, I like it. I've been doing it a lot. I still haven't got a snipe outfit, but if you want to be a big, if you're trying to be a big baller, go for the big baller snipes. There's new diamonds today. Three of the five, I'm pretty sure are snipes. Go 100k bid, 500 buyout, and just refresh, 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 and hopefully you get a big card like Ryan Cycle. I mean, it's weird. It's, I'll just go over them right real, real quick for you guys. We have guys like um, Glenn Rice. That goes for a lot. Sangoon even it's not now. Draymond, Bran Roy, um, Derek Coleman. Like, Ryan Cycle, the snipe, Grant Hill, the snipe, wherever he is. We have Westbrook, Wilt. Like, there's so many diamonds in this game that are snipes. It's awesome. You can do Pink Diamond Filter. I don't know. I really, really would recommend it at this point. Because there's not many on the market. And it is a very, very boomer bust, to be honest with you. But if you want more budget, budget filters today... We got some new budget filters. We got the Miami Heat filter. Put your max buyout at like 1800. Not that 800. They go first to put it like 1500, 1400. And you refresh. And you refresh. And whenever a card pops up, you buy it. Sell back for 1800. Make sure you guys check your prices. Very important to do that. These cards could be going down. Cards have been going up. So make sure you check them. Next budget filter. Is going to be the San Antonio Spurs. They also got challenged today. Spurs were going to be going a little bit more in depth with them. Not click, not whatever I just did. Don't click on all those buttons. But looking at this, we were point guards going for like 2,700, 2,800. Okay. You do all Spurs if you want to. For like, I would honestly recommend just putting a 2,700, then just scroll. And if you see any, like if you see a two guard or bigger, buy it up, buy the card quickly. But you also, um, just if you want to do a different filter, you want to go a little bit more pricey, go like look at power forward real, real quick. Like this one right here, I'll buy for, buy that for fifty seven hundred. Hopefully, sell back for seven k. It's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed it's gonna sell, but like, I feel like it will be as what to go for. It looks like. Same thing for centers. They go for nine to eleven k ish. Oh, they they are very they're very random. If you see a Wemby on this filter for 9k, buy him instant. Wemby is goes for like 19k right now. You can do a Wemby filter if you want to. Not awful filter. But you put like your bio to like, I don't know, like look at like 7400 then it just switch between power forward and center. If you see a center pop up, buy it. Power forward, buy it for like 6k, 7k, I don't know. Really what you want to do. Like 6k, maybe, five, maybe 6k or under. It's really your um, personal decision on that one. If you want to, do, if you want to do these like weird filters, I mean, you could do Warriors probably still. Um, that was that was good for a while. It still looks like prices are still up a little bit. We can go look right here. Twenty two hundred might be a snipe, maybe. What do they go for? Twenty five, twenty six. Just put your filter at like 2k, buy everything a snipe that pops up. Next filter we got not po I mean, power surge does technically. I, mean, I know I'm going for a, basically just going over everything. Okay, power surge I would not recommend doing because it's kind of weird. But if you want to do power surge, you can do something different. If you want to try to go for big baller snipes again, you can put your min buyout crap or like I don't know, it's probably at 100k maybe at this point. Honestly, this filter probably too. Is, you can power surge Western if you want to and put your min bio up a little bit. So then you see, like, put up to 100k, then you only see the diamonds and pink diamonds pop up. That's filter very, very risky though. Filter, new, we got Grace Arrow today. I would not recommend, honestly, sitting on this filter at all. Why is 900k? Okay. Um, Unless you want to just sit. Like, if you enable can answer, maybe. Maybe it's a good filter. Or sit on 100k buyout, if you want. It's a two scroll. 
you can see Chris Mullen on it, but you can't see all, all, all the diamonds on the filter. So it's like, yes, you can do it, but I don't. I would just prefer to do all diamond filter because the likeliness of you getting a pink diamond is very, very low. One of our last filters, gem of the game. This filter is consistent. It's very, like, it's not, it's a consistent filter. It's, like, it's always like decent. It's not always, it's not good, but it's not bad. Like 2K for them, buying for like 1700 or 1600 a pop. There's other cards like um, that go for more. Obviously, special this filter can be very like a special type of filter, where if you want to go like go look at go look all like position by position. See so nothing like if there's a Baron Davis up for like 70k, you can buy and sell back for 100k or more. Zach Levine, the same the same thing. Like you just gotta look at these guys. Like it's gonna take a lot of time, but. If you like learn your prices on these cards, you can make a lot of MT because people don't know the price of these cards, to be honest with you. They have no idea. I don't either, but just scroll, see if there's any good deals up at the four hour mark, and then you buy them. And Ruby's, same thing. Like, look, Jack Sigma, 20k. So these random dudes that go, go for MT. Uh, I'm pretty sure on, on the Grizzlies, we got D'Anthony Melton. Um, don't know if he's on the Grizzlies on this card. Might be on the Warriors now. But I don't know. James Posey goes for a lot, I know. You see, like, okay, how much does he actually go for? Is it, is it actually 90k? I don't know. Maybe 90k, maybe less. I don't know. Like, that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. How'd you get the card for 20k? That's a lot, a lot of profit right there for you. I'll be very happy with that much profit. Maybe, um, if you know, D'Anthony Melton apparently is really, really good. So he's expensive. Uh, it look a little, I mean, honestly, like, just go look at, look at his cards. Just look at them. It's that simple. There is cards in this game that go for so much for no reason. I'm for reasons, obviously, but. You just don't expect them to, honestly. Make sure you guys, if you, have, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go uh, sell all your badges. Badges really, I mean, unless you're on badge card out, there's no reason to hold it. And it's free MT in your in, in your inventory. Go look at like, what is it like, on ball, on ball. Or is it on ball, not menace. Or else it is on ball menace. Might be on ball menace. I might be just. It is on ball menace. That is the badge I was trying to figure out. These things go for like a few thousand normally. Like we got three k, three k for gold and silver, and the bronze is like five k. Pretty nice, bro. If you have it, it's a chilling badge there. It's a badge chilling there. So my favorite filters. If you want budget filters. Spurs, Miami. Um, if you want bigger filters, you can do diamond filter. You could do pink diamond filter. I wouldn't recommend it. You could gem gem filter is a filter that if you're ever bored and just want to go like look through cards, it's not really a snipe filter. It's just like a card filter. You just go look once or twice a day, see if there are any cards up. But make sure you like and subscribe. And see you next time. Peace.